Hello everybody, we're back on the road again and I want to welcome you all in another video for Liffey Mills. Once again we're joined with James Brady here, our tillage expert in Liffey's and we've changed tact and we've gone away from a cereal crop and I want to discuss what is a growing crop in Ireland, winter seed rape. So just to hand it over to you James from now to see the whole husbandry behind this crop and, and give us an update on how it's going. Well just uh, as you say, there's a growing crop in Ireland but not in this area. Uh, this farmer has been growing I'll seed rape for a long number of years as you can see from the, the volunteer spring rape that's coming up through it. Uh, but he's, he's using it uh, primarily for its rotational purposes. He has a big problem with uh, sterile brome and it is a great way of getting on control of that grass weed because you don't have a whole lot of ammunition, you have nothing in barley and you have ammunition in, 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 in wheat to control it but a break crop like I'll see the rape um, okay. gives you a good chance to do it but it should be a bigger crop in the area because I mean it was the star performer in last year's harvest I mean there was over two tonne to the acre cut and that's got close to 700 euros a tonne plus right. you'll get the straw chopping grant as well so it should be considered of more consideration for farmers in this area I mean the risks associated with the crop are, 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 are well down now I mean the breeders have over the last 10-15 years they have taken the risk out of growing the crop to a certain extent we now have varieties this variety has uh, what they call pod shatter resistance it also has um, turn up yellows resistance okay. And it's a good score for light leaf spots. So all them together has driven the yields of oil seed rape. Now they're up about thirty percent by eliminating the risks. It's by eliminating with the risks, and then you know yields have increased thirty percent over the last ten or fifteen years. So it's it should be of more consideration to growers. And could I ask then, is there a downside, or why isn't it? it I know oil seed rape has a very early sowing date, so. Is part of a rotation, is it a certain cereal crop that it likes going in after? Well, I, ideally, ideally it should go in, uh, as you say, mid-August. And the best entry point for that would be a crop of winter barley yeah. because you have your barley cut, your straw gone off the field. You can actually give it a light tilling to get the, t the, the volunteers uh, and they'll be up and you can kill them yes. and get your crop in maybe. 15, 20th of August. Okay, so you're squin, you sow your crop conventionally. Um, fertilizing the crop, James? Um, <clears throat> you, it's a good opportunity if you have access to organic manures. If you had access to chicken litter, it, it would be brilliant, or even slurry. But if you have an access to any of them, uh, maybe two bags of 10, 10, 20 to get it going. Okay, okay. So once the crop is established and we've 10, 10, 20 gone down in and it emerges and by sowing mid-August soil temperature tends to be warm so it emerges fairly quickly. What then, we're, we're talking, you were saying a good way of controlling brome, so what way are we talking controlling weed control or what has he done in this field to control weed well, control? Well this, this crop wasn't sown until the first week of September, uh, it would be slightly late, it got viewers in this, uh, uh, pre-emergence and it got falcon then maybe a couple of weeks later to control any of the volunteers that came through and control oh. your sterile brome but you're going back to going back to uh, the sowing date the sowing date the earlier you sow the more biomass you're going to have in the crop it's going to grow grow away faster and you'll have a thicker crop and a thicker crop will help you save on the nitrogen you have yes. to apply in the spring. Oh, and how is that now? That's Well, the amount, the amount of nitrogen and the timing of the nitrogen uh, is the, very dependent on the green air, the GAI is what they call it, the green area index of the crop. Oh, um, explain that to me now for somebody that doesn't know what GAI or the well, green area index means. The green area index is just a measure of all the stem and the leaf per meter squared. It has a a reading of between zero and three and a half. Now the ideal is that you have get to tr have a GAI of three and a half at flowering okay. to try and attain maximum yields. Now each one uh, unit of GAI has 50 kilos of nitrogen. 
per hectare in it. Okay. So if you know the GAI of the crop in the spring, you can subtract that nitrogen. That kilos seems, off well, the it depends. Now, I, <clears throat> I came out here two weeks ago. You do this in the middle of February now. And I was out here with the grower and you have, like everything, there's a phone, there's an app for it. And I, uh, you can ascertain the GII by, by using the app. And we did several readings around the field. We got 0 0.75, 0 0.83, 1.2. 1 so we took an average of one. Okay. So a GAI, GAI of one has 50 kilos of nitrogen. Now we want to get to three and a half. Yes. But three and a half by 50 is 175. Oh, yeah. okay. So take 50 off the 175, so you're suddenly down to 125 kilos of nitrogen. Now, we're not finished there yeah. because there'll be a certain amount of nitrogen in the soil. You can take that off. I mean, from soil mineralization, this is tilling for years. So you're probably, would be conservative and say 30 kilos. So take 30 off 125. Right, so we're back down to 95. 95. So 95 kilos of nitrogen to get to a GAI of three, three and a half, half at flowering. But there's more, as they say, the 95, nitrogen is only 60% efficient. Oh, yeah. So divide 95 by 0 0.6. Yes, yeah, you, you need 140% of 158. Yes, yes. So 158. Yeah. So this crop needs 158 kilos of nitrogen to get it to a GAI of three and a half at flowering. Okay. Now you were saying about how do you save nitrogen. Yes. If this had a GAI of two in the middle of February. It's a hundred kilos off that. You have a hundred kilos. Now I multiplied it out. 75 kilos is all you need versus uh -huh. 158. There's a saving of 80, yeah. 83 kilos yeah. to yeah. get you to three and a half. And that could be down to sowing date and but getting that's a back to what you're saying is the earlier you sow the more GAI or the more green and the quicker the crop comes yeah, out of the it ground. Gets away, it gets away from the slugs, any flea beetle that might attack it. But there's always the doubt that if the pigeons move in, they won't yeah. be long removing your GAI. two GAI. Yeah. And, and, and they're, while they're damaging the crop, all they're doing really is eating your, making you spread more nitrogen. Yes. You know? But the pigeons never got into this. There's yeah. no pigeon attack here. But this is this we, we, we ascertained that this was had a GAI of one. Right, so if we look at and we're all familiar with growing cereals and, and we had previous videos on winter barley and we determined the yield of winter barley is completely based on grains per square meter. Our heads per square meter mm. and if so the grains per square meter per, per square head. meter. So is it the same basis as yield on Isle Seed Rep? It is. Uh, the seeds. seeds. Seeds per square meter. And that all relates to the GAI of the more higher the closer well, no, the Well, you, no, you're at three and a half. You have to get to three and a half by flowering. The seed production is dependent on the photosynthesis after that, okay. say from mid flowering onwards. Yes. So uh, the more light you can get into the crop, the more photosynthesis you're going to have. Therefore, you need to keep it greener to trap that light. So the more photosynthesis you have, the more seed production you're going to have. Yeah. Now, that's why you will be putting a grow regulator on this. Uh, it's a bit cold now to be putting it on now, but uh, after next, the middle of next week, temperatures are to improve. Your grow regulator probably could use carrick's at maybe 0 0.7 or 1 litre. What that will do is it'll break apical dominance and it'll stop the nice. energy going to the top and branches, go out that way. divert it down so that it'll branch lower down. Yes. The last thing you need, you see, is a whole heap of flowers at the top. And nothing. Cutting else. off the sun coming down, or the light coming down, so it doesn't get down. So this is, this is the theory of it anyway. It's, 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 it's to sort of open the crop so that light gets down. So that to you get, get seeds more, down. More pod formation and more right. pod fill. Yeah, yeah. And Which determines yield. Determines yield. At the end of the day, it's the yeah. seeds we want. Yes. You know. Because we are, we're all used to PGRs on cereals is to reduce the... Just shorten, to shorten the stem. Yeah, so yeah, it's a yeah, bit different, yeah. really. Well, the, 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 the carrots will help strengthen the stem as well. Okay. It will okay. add more lignin to the... Um, fungicides or disease control in, in Isle's rape. 
like it's a very with wheat in this country it's very much oriented and satori and barley we have ramillary and rinko what have we here in rape well, the, biggest, the biggest yield or the biggest uh, disease and yield rubber that rape has is what they call light leaf spot. Okay. Now this crop has been treated two weeks ago for light leaf spot. As you see, there's nothing. It's the, very the, clean. The, the very, very clean. Uh, it got 0.4 of a litre of proline. Okay. Uh, the other disease spray it probably get will be in maybe mid-April is to have try and take on uh, sclerotinia. Uh, it's a disease Af after the after flower the, the petals fall they fall on the leaf and if you have wet weather um, they'll start rotting on the oh, leaf you yes, know and, and yes. sclerotinia will grow yes uh, but that that won't be going on until maybe mid-April so disease control is very simple here it's very simple yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, once you get in once you get in, get in. Uh, now as I said this didn't get a disease spray in the autumn you, the light leaf spot near, nearly always needs two sprays, one in the autumn, maybe in November, and one maybe at the end of February. But uh, this only got one, and it appears to be clean. Yeah. Now, oil seed rape, a couple of last questions. Oil seed rape is a brassica, and like all brassicas, demand for boron is probably high. Are, are we applying? Yeah, well, it got boron, say it got boron, and it got boron and with the proline. Oh, perfect. Uh, two yeah. weeks ago. Like you're right, brassicas, you, you see what a deficiency in, in, in boron does in yes. bees. Yes. Uh, boron is needed in all brassicas for cell elongation, you know, for, for yeah. root growth, stem growth. Mm. But there's a serious demand for it during the reproductive phase when ah, you're producing yes. seed. Yes. So will we apply more boron here? Yes, there or? will be more boron put on. Boron is very leachable, so after a real wet weather, the amount of boron in the soil is probably negligible. So you need but to apply it again onto leaf. Nearly every time you go through a yes. proper rape, you nearly want to be putting a shot of boron on it. Yeah. And we're familiar again driving around the countryside where rape is, is popular or common, the bright yellow flowers, when the flowers. Um, mm. So once we go mid April and we have it covered for sclerotinia, we're finished. Close the gate till the combine harvester. Well, you burn it off. Okay. Uh, burn it off maybe a month before you're going to cut. Three weeks before you're going to cut it. All right. Okay. Yeah. So that's it, James. Uh, yeah. Well, the only the only thing uh, because it's not popular in this area. One thing you need to be mindful is that a lot of the cover crops now have brassicas in them, and if you're going to have uh, a cover crops mm. on your farm, uh, you're just predisposing yourself to club root. Yes. Be aware there are cover crops, of course, out there. Yeah, well, you, brassica you, you, free. If, if, if you have seed rape in the rotation, you need a brassica, you need free, a brassica cover free cover crop. Yeah. And that's just mm -hmm. something to be aware of on, on yeah. anybody who's grown it individually. Um, yeah, we hope this crop will yield two ton plus, two ton plus for the yeah. grower. And uh, I want to again, once again, thanks, James, and thank you for all viewing. And hopefully, we'll have some help and some assistance going forward. Thank you.